Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel T and Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I'm going to share with you another one of the uh, into resin crystal mold and it is their handmade mold and this might be your lucky crystal mold. So let's start. So this is the mold that I'm going to try today. So let's open it. I have been using into molds for some time now and they are each one of them is so amazing so for this you always need a low viscosity resin because the details on these molds are so amazing you're going to see when I'm going to demold this one so I've mixed my resin here and I poured a little bit of resin into the mold and after that I will be using alcohol ink so these alcohol inks are by Ranger so I will be using two shades of green so these are the two when I use these two colors I get a, such a beautiful green color and you are going to see what I'm talking about. So just I've poured a little bit resin first and then I'm just adding these alcohol inks into the mold. And then after that uh, I added the first layer of the ink and after that I am adding the second layer of resin. And the before filling up the mold, I will be adding the other color of the green also. So I saw a little bit of bubbles inside the mold. So I'm just using a little toothpick and I am not touching the mold. I'm just doing a little bit of tapping. So this came from Jasmonite. I used the casting powder. So this is, do works with resin sometimes. So I'm doing a little bit of tap and then after that I'm using the heat gun so that the resin reaches all the nooks and crannies into this small delicate mold. So after doing that I am using the second color of alcohol ink and it is impossible that I don't make a mess when I'm using alcohol ink. So after that I will be filling up the mold to the top. And it's done now and I will leave this to cure and I will see you next day. So this is the next day and I'm going to remove. Super excited to see how this will turn out. So here we go and how beautiful you can see already the shine and the rainbow are coming. This is simple just resin and alcohol ink and you can see the beauty and the reason I was saying that this is going to be your lucky mold is that this is a clover mold and such a beautiful mold. I actually myself didn't knew the details of this one. It's ro And uh, the color that I was talking about now you can know that I mix these two inks and I get this beautiful shade of green and this is outside in the sun and you really can't say the difference if this is resin or it's a glass. The results are always amazing. So I have a discount code available in my description. You will get 20% off on this mold. And if you like to treat yourself, everything will be in my description. So sometimes I do get some questions that how I do attach the bale to the back of the pendant. So this is how I'm, what I'm doing here. So I'm doing it outside is that I really wanted to enjoy the sunny day. But if you're a beginner please do it inside because it's already sunny and we have a uv resin that can cure easily in the sun so take your time if you know that you're going to take some time otherwise it's going to start cure because it's sunny so i will leave this outside in the sun so that it get uh, cures but this is how i add the bale and then after that i do a top layer so that everything gets merged so this is the result and let's see the final look so this is the final look. I just love how this turned out. No matter which angle you see it, it is beautiful from all sides. I will add some pictures as a necklace also. So I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, please do let me know. And please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.